Now what we have right here is a little circuit board. It does look rather weird, and uh, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, there are four diodes and a couple of capacitors on here, and uh, uh, this is a rectifier bridge, uh, for those of you who have not already guessed that. And uh, I, I just thought, well, making up a circuit board with, uh, with that rectifier and everything is just not worthwhile. So what I did was I searched around in my junk circuit boards a little bit, and I found this right here. Uh, this is a surround sound processor affair that uh, I took apart a long time ago. And as you can see, I just went ahead and uh, cut out uh, that uh, part of the circuit board right there using a Dremel tool. And uh, there it is. It did require some modifications because this used to be a split rail power supply and now it's just a single rail power supply. And as you can see, using the Dremel I uh, removed some of the traces and uh, I added some using excessive amounts of solder. And uh, that uh, does work real well. I hooked it up to this uh, power supply right here. Uh, this is the power supply that came out of an old boom box. And I just went ahead and hooked the rectifier up to the secondary output of this transformer. I'm not using that circuit board right there. I took a first measurement with a meter. Turned out to uh, uh, deliver 18 volts of DC. However, such a meter does not show you the whole entire truth. It does show you a DC reading as soon as there is at least something that, uh, that looks like DC. So, uh, since I heated up those diodes quite excessively when I applied all the solder to them, I wanted to make sure that they're all working. I really hate searching for errors when, uh, you know, when, when doing the final test, you know, I, I don't want to finish the power supply and then find out that it doesn't work correctly, so I thought I'd better test everything while I'm doing it. So uh, what I've done is I've also hooked up the rectifier bridge to the oscilloscope right there. And it uh, might be better if I go into manual focus for that. As you can see, or as you can see if you know what, uh, what this is actually all doing, it does work perfectly fine. All the diodes are functional. Now, uh, this is uh, the four diode setup. And that is called a full wave rectifier. And uh, here is how that all works. Now, uh, I assume you all know how AC looks on the oscilloscope. It's a sine wave. If you don't know how that all looks, go ahead and Google it. I'm not going to explain that right now. But basically, what the full wave rectifier is doing is it uh, takes the negative, the negative part of the sine wave and just flips it over makes it positive. Um, actually, uh, let's see. It's, okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, now you can imagine that a little bit better. That would be the negative wave gets flipped over to up there. And uh, you can see it does work real well. And uh, the picture is actually looking much better on camera than it does in real life. In real life, it's just flickering around there, but um, now I do know this. Uh, this really doesn't look like a sine wave or like something that used to be a sine wave, but um, I guess that is due to the little uh, ceramic capacitors that uh, I have going on right there. And uh, these are required; they are part of the circuitry, so you can see. So anyway, uh, now that I know that that is working fine, I can go ahead and uh, continue to uh, work on that little circuit board. It's a little bit later now, and I've added some more components to the circuit, as you can clearly see. I've added these two big 5600 microfarad capacitors, which are rated for 63 volts. You can kind of see that right there. Now, I know it does look terribly wrong what I've done here. Usually you have 
like if you have the minus right here on the other capacitor, the minus is right here. But that's, of course, once again, only for split power supplies. And uh, since I've modified the circuitry on this one, and uh, not sure if I can still turn this around. Well, it seems like I can. There it is. Um, since I've modified the circuit, uh, that's the way it has to be. Now, um, as you can see, there is also this little cap, uh, this little capacitor. It's a 47 nanofarad capacitor in parallel to one of the filter caps. The filter caps themselves, of course, are also in parallel. And then, also in parallel, is this resistor, which uh, I know is looking kind of funny. Uh, the circuit called for a 2.2 kilo ohm uh, resistor, rated at 2.5 watts. I didn't have one, so I just went ahead and uh, hooked up these two uh, 1 kilo ohm resistors, which are rated 5 watts. So I'm getting a 2 kilo ohm resistor, which I really think is close enough. Now here is how that all looks in the schematic. Basically, this circuit board contains everything up until that, uh, that line right there. What these components are doing, you can see on the oscilloscope. This is the exact same adjustment that uh, we've had the last time we've looked at the oscilloscope. You can see that uh, the weird hills disappeared. And uh, that is due to the filter capacitors and what these are doing. And of course we do have the resistor and the little capacitor and I think that also helps uh, smoothing out the voltage we are getting. So uh, let's see how good this actually is. I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what we can uh, do here. Okay, so what we do is we switch the oscilloscope to show us AC only. Then we decrease our voltage and mess around with the time base a little bit. And, uh, ooh, what's that? The hills are back. Well, that is what's called ripple. And that's what makes your amplifier hum when you're using a power supply that's not designed well enough. And uh, as you can see, uh, the filter capacitors and uh, the other parts Although they are definitely doing a very good job in smoothing that uh, DC, they are not doing a perfect job. And uh, if we just uh, take, if we just ignore the voltage adjustment uh, part, basically that's what all the other garbage is for, to turn that into a straight line. That's basically the function of the additional components all being shown on the oscilloscope.